What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Grandia. Guys, we are on part number 6 right now and unfortunately in the last one we did not get to meet my all-time favourite guest. Uh, guest? Character? Character. Look, I was reading guest on the game and it just threw my mind for a loop. I'm simple-minded. It's easy for me to lose track of things like that. Oh, but yeah, unfortunately, it didn't happen in the last one, which does, of course, mean we are going to meet her in this one. In fact, we're going to meet her in about, like, t t 20 seconds, give or take. It's like I do, I do still have to go and uh, <clears throat> speak to somebody first. But, actually, no, I don't, because I've already spoke to them enough, so I don't, I don't need to do that. Yeah, we can just go straight and meet her. It's fine. And, 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 we're also going to be uh, moving on to the dungeon in this one as well, the next dungeon. And this is actually going to be where we have pretty much like a huge explanation on, you know, magic, how it works, what we can do with it, um, how to get it, and all, all stuff like that. You know, a little, a little like we did in, was it part two? I think, it's, I think it was part two that we did it in, where I basically explained like all there is to know about weapons and weapon skills and all that sort of stuff. So we'll be doing that with magic as well. But first things first, here's the character. <laughs> I'm home. You all haven't changed a bit. Yo, Fina! Now we there we go. go there. Hey, Fina. Home, Fina. How are you? And Boy, she's not home, guys. Like, she's in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I'm doing great. Best the treasure, character see, it's just in the game. Fina, Anyone disagrees? I will I fight you, you okay? I will Long fight you feedback. hands down. Well Absolutely best Fina, character. Well, then again, like some the the some people do prefer eyes. rap, and I mean, rap, rap's a good character. <laughs> you know, he, he is a good character. Truth. He's a I funny character. But nah, Fina, Fina best character, hands down. They might catch like she does, she does have a moment, you know, where things uh, <clears throat> go a little end, wrong. Though, but no, she, she's totally the best character. When I had these giant boulders on my tail, but I quickly okay, Miss Indiana Jones. Enough oh, about the boulders. Hey, let's not waste a good story. Let's go sit down. You can take your time and tell me about your adventure down below. No, no, no. I want to talk to her. I'll carry your treasure. I want to talk to her. Okay, Captain. Can you guys take care of this stuff? Mm. Here we go. Here we go. We're now just like laborers for her, unfortunately. Huh? Who are you two? Never seen you before. Uh, well, I'm, I'm Dirt. He's foul. He's foul already. I mean, you know, she, she's a pretty girl. He's young. Of course he's gonna be nervous. That's so cool. And she's pretty too, right, Justin? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very. Of course, Vina. These are our princey sailors. Just in Sue here. My name's Fina, pleased to meet you. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasure. Yeah, give it a high five greeting. He's gonna mess her up. That greeting's only for when you're full fledged. Aw, oh, he's useless. He's useless. He got turned down just like that. He got turned down. Poor Justin. And off she goes. Unfortunately, we don't get much of a conversation with her just yet. It's a shame. It's such a shame. It's fine, though. Oh, you know what I just realized I still need to do, actually? I still need to uh, get rid of the items in Sue's inventory. Because I did it with Justin earlier on, but I didn't actually do it since then, did I? No fun at all. Cleaning again. Yeah. And it's all your fault, so... But Fina's done it for us. It's fine. Who cleaned the decks? It's about time. You'll never be full-fledged sailor. I don't want to be a sailor. Look, man, she's choosing my job for me. I don't, I don't even get any options in what I want to do anymore. It's like she's just like, nah, you, you're a sailor now, dude. It's like it's like a future armor where you just inject it with an implant. And it's like, yeah, this is your job now. You're, you're stuck with that for the rest of your life. A long way to go to be a full-fledged... I don't want to be a full-fledged sailor. Yeah, we're, we're adventurers. Yeah, gotta have a cover story. 
Poor Justin, he doesn't realise what he's just said. And there we go, Justin's just being bad mouthed by the women. Poor, poor Justin. Yeah, come on, Fina, tell us about you. Hmm. What would we like to know, guys? What would we like to know? About her adventures, exploring the new world, or should we be creepy stalkers and find out where she lives? Uh, you know what? Let, let's be creepy stalkers. There we go. Oh, and she lives alone, apparently. That, well, that's plus one for the stalker life, for sure. You're tough, Fina. Don't you get lonely? Nah. Like, what, what's there to be lonely about when you're adventuring, you know? You want to be the greatest adventurer in the world. Yes, I do. We're going to the Adventure Society in New Palm. And yeah, Fina's, Fina's a member. <clears throat> There's just a few little problems there. Well, we'll we'll see those problems later anyway. It's like they'll be... They're actually not too far away. Uh, we're definitely not going to get to them in this video. Um... Probably not going to be in the next one either. So it's more than likely. Hang on, we're on six now. Next one is seven. It's more than likely going to be like part eight. Part eight or part nine when we uh, get to the bottom of her problems. In fact, yeah, it's probably going to be part nine actually. It's like just thinking about everything that I've got to do. Yeah, it's probably going to be probably going to be part nine. It's fine though. It's fine. To be fair though, part nine's actually gonna be really funny. You guys, you guys are gonna like part nine. It's like we're gonna have one hell of a boss, which I don't know if that'll be part eight or part nine. But anybody who's played this game, like just instantly knows the boss I'm on about, hands down. As for um, as for those who haven't played the game, well, even if you don't care about the boss, you're going to laugh at the dialogue, because it gets hilarious there. Right, okay, let's get rid of all this stuff that we don't need. So I don't need the cabin key, uh, I don't need the jerky, the chocolate, uh, I don't, well... See, they would actually come in handy, but I don't want to use them against the boss, because I want to level equipment, so we're just going to throw all that in for now. Like, I could sell it, really, but, eh. Mm. Don't need that, because that's only 8 attack. Uh, I'll keep the Clara letter, because we can actually do that soon. Yeah, so let's just, let's just ditch everything in the stashing place. And we're totally not going to go and rest. Instead, we're going to go and uh, listen in on her conversation with the captain. I mean, hey, it's something has obviously spooked us, so we need to, we need to go and find out what. Captain, a gale's come up and the seas are off. Strange clouds are approaching. This is trouble. I'll assemble the man. I have a bad premonition. Women's intuition, man. Women's intuition. Fina, just what's happening? Is something wrong? Mm, nothing to worry about, Justin. So go back to your quarters and rest. Look, I'm not a little child, woman. Let's go back to our quarters. Looks like some big trouble. No. No. We have to change course by as much as we can. Quickly, assemble the men. Could it be the legendary ghost ship? Eh, that's just superstition. Told you to go rest in your quarters. Bitch, chill that attitude. Tell you, man. She's not even... You know what's funny? She's not actually even that much older than Justin. Oh, I can't, you know what, I can't actually remember how old they are. I need to, I need to look that up, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up right now. Uh, right. Let's do this while trying to play the game. Let's go to our quarters. Uh, how about no? We're gonna go, we're gonna go spy on what's actually happening. Uh, right. Grandier characters age. Now, from what I remember, Fina really isn't that old compared to uh, Justin. Uh, let's see. Mm, where are we? Nope, that is not what I want. Uh, Grandia characters, there we go. Okay, so Justin is... 
Uh, Justin has 14. Wait, but he's somehow 24 at the end of the game? What? Is he in multiple Grand Years? Is he actually in multiple? This game does not take place over 10 years. I don't think it does anyway. Um. Hmm. There's no way this game takes place over 10 years, right? Like I knew, I knew he was young at the start of the game. There's no way he's 24 at the end, though. But yeah, I was right in an earlier video as well when I said that Sue was only eight years old as well. Right, so how old's Fina? Fina is 15 and apparently 25 at the end of the game. No, that that can't be right. This game does not span 10 years. That's, that's definitely not right. Something's wrong there. They must be in multiple characters, maybe. Oh, wait, hang on. Is there... There might be a small cutscene at the end that's in the future, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, that's like completely besides the point for what we're talking about right now. Considering we're talking about how uh, she was treating me like a kid when she's only a year older. Well, technically not even like a year, because I suppose really it depends on when the birthday is. It's like, you never know, Justin could turn, like, Justin could have a birthday next week and he'd be the same age. And Fina could have just had a birthday. So there might even only be like a few weeks separating them. Don't worry, Fina, we'll go with you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to the ghost ship, it's fine. We'll do it. I'll, I'll go with you. Now look, you guys, even these little kids are showing some bravery. Bitch, you're a year older. Shut up with the little kid stuff. She's definitely got the attitude of a child, though. Like, she's definitely got that teenage attitude. You just wait on this ship. Ah, uh, no fair hogging all the adventure. I want to go. Adventure isn't child's play. You can even lose your life. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, well, I'm worried about you, Fina. Yeah, how can we let a girl go? A girl? How rude. I'm a pro adventurer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, such a pro adventurer, and apparently an amateur like us doesn't need to uh, worry about her. Oh, I wonder how that's going to change in the future. <clears throat> I didn't say anything. Yeah, if we don't go, who's going to go? It's like it's fine. What What could be, what, what's going to be wrong on a ghost ship? It's not like there's going to be ghosts or anything like that, is there? Oh no, there's definitely, definitely not going to be any ghosts on a ghost ship in the middle of the ocean with nothing there at all. Yeah, what, what could go wrong? What I will say though, guys, is this is, um, needless to say, this is a one-time area. Everything on this ship is completely missable. Now... That's not as big of a deal as you might think, simply due to the fact that the only item we really care about from this ship is actually a drop from the boss. But one of the things we need to make sure is that Justin and Sue have space in their inventory. And it's really, really important that they have the space. Because if not, the item that the boss drops will go in Fina's inventory. And that is, uh, yeah, we don't want that to happen. We, we really, really don't want that to happen, like, at all. Don't get too excited, Justin. Who knows what will happen? Oh, I know exactly what will happen. It's fine. Right, so let's take a look at Fina's uh, stats, shall we, now that she's in the party. So, I did mention earlier on that uh, there's no point in buying a knife because, well, a new character will actually come with one. So she comes with the paw knife, which is one of her weapon types, and she also starts with the Leet Whip, which is her hover weapon type. So if we just go ahead and take a look at moves. Now, the keen eyed among you might have seen something, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So, with Fina, here's, here's the thing, right? 
she does unlock a few more skills, like moves and that for weapons, as you unlock more magic. But her knife skills are actually like really, really, really bad. So what I would actually suggest doing is just use her knife and get that up to level 10, basically. Because once you get that up to level 10, you really don't have to equip a knife for a very, very long time. And then you can actually just pretty much solo focus her whip. Now, as for her magic, she starts with the fire magic. And fire is, it's basically the all-round attack magic in, uh, in Grandia. So, pretty much any spell relating to fire will deal damage. Uh, I think there's like one or two that don't, but the vast majority are. So, level 1 fire magic is burn. That is typically a single target spell, but you can hit multiple enemies with it. It's just a really, really small radius. So, you'll see that come in handy in the uh, upcoming boss, but... In terms of hitting like multiple enemies where it's in other fights, it's going to be kind of rare, to be honest. Once we get it up one more level, though, we'll unlock the level 2 fire magic, which is called Burn Flame. That's basically a higher damaging version, but it also has like a much bigger AoE. So this Burn Flame, for example, you're not guaranteed to hit everything on the field, but chances are you probably will. And then level 3, you need to get it up to level 9 fire magic. And that's going to be burn flare. Again, it's slightly higher damage than burn flame. Um, however, it's guaranteed to hit everything on the field no matter what. Now, fire magic... Yeah, I mean, it starts off kind of strong. But it does start to get kind of weak later on. So we don't really care too much about fire. It's like the best the best thing about fire magic is the fact that when it levels up, you do actually gain one wit stat. And that's really, really important because that's, again, what controls your ATB, basically. And that is absolutely what we want. The higher wit, the faster it goes. But it does at least come in handy earlier on anyway. Like, fire magic, well, magic in general is actually really good early on. Uh, towards the later parts of the game, we're not really going to be using all that much magic. So, we need to make sure we get our, uh, our money's worth on it. And, of course, we have to level it up for skills anyway. You too. No carelessness. Watch your feet. I do this in my sleep. A first-rate adventurer? No problem. Okay, Zidane. Uh, and yes, I called him that on purpose. What's this? It's soft and warm and... Justin, you pervert! <clears throat> now you know why. Uh, she's mad. She's really mad. Justin, what do you think you're doing? Oh, why you suddenly stopped in front of me? It was dark, I couldn't see. Let's go, we can't be wasting time here. Just in your face is red. Well, what'd you expect? He just had a handful. Alright, so let's pick up the gold before we move on. So we are going to recover at the save points. No real reason why. We had full health anyway. But I am going to save. It's like we don't really need to save in this area, to be fair. Like, it's really not that difficult. But, eh. One of the things I will suggest as well, by the way, is if you want to grind, do it right here. Either right here or right at the very end. Because there's a save point right next to you, which you can rest at. Uh, and there's a save point at the very end that you can rest at. And obviously, you know, just changing screens does... Um... Bring the mobs anyway, respawn them. Alright, we're not going to bother using magic here, though. Simply due to the fact, like, Fina started really far back. Oh, I forgot to actually put her knife on, didn't I? Well, she can just use the whip. It's fine. She can whip things. Although I am actually going to take the whip off right now, to be fair. Yeah, and I should probably add that uh, magic actually levels up the exact same way that um, uh, weapons do. So, simple, more UCs, more EXP. Uh, the higher level it is, the lower the EXP will be, depending on the enemy level, and so on and so forth. Pretty much works identically. 
turn later on. Uh, probably around like episode. Uh, maybe, maybe next episode, but it's probably more than likely going to be like episode eight. Um, I will actually walk you guys through how to unlock magic, and I'll also talk more about combinations of magic. We won't be getting any combination stuff for, you know, a good a good while, to be fair. But either way, either way, it's still, you know, fairly good to mention, just in case. You know what I mean? I think we can go down here, do you? Do you? Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Now, I'm trying to remember. Okay, yeah, I got the uh, the gold from that doorway. That's fine. We'll go there later and get that. For now, we're just going to drop down. Drop down the creepy dark hole. What could go wrong? Right, what could go wrong at all? By the way, notice that little blue blobby thing jumping around up top. He can jump down, and if he does and he lands on you, he can ambush you. Oh, Fina's got the first turn, so we'll use some magic here. So, I'm going to go into special and magic. It does only cost 1 MP for the tier 1, which isn't too bad. It means we get 10 uses out of it, which will actually be enough to level it up. Providing we hit uh, the mobs a couple of times, like there, where we hit both mobs with it. But, as you can see, it's not really that big of an AoE area, so, yeah, just have to deal with it, unfortunately. But that should be 80 XP for it. Nope, 10 XP. Okay, that's even better than I thought then. That's that's fine. That's definitely fine. It does mean though to unlock the uh, the next level spell. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we will have to actually use a recovery point, and then we'll have to um, like do some extra fights. It's not the end of the world, but, you know, it does kind of suck, yes. Alright, I'm not even going to bother trying to aim for all three. But unfortunately, just didn't hit the one that I wanted to use the fire magic on. Oh, I still hit both, though. Okay, that's fine. That actually worked out better. Athena got another turn. Uh, let's just go fire again. It's like, I definitely want to level... Oh, I have no idea why I did that. I should have just defended. Right, we but yeah, uh, we definitely want to get fire magic to level 4 before the boss. Like, even, even if we don't, it's not going to be the end of the world, to be fair. Like, I would definitely get it inside the boss. Uh, well, inside the uh, the actual boss fight. But, again, you know, it's it's whatever. Alright, get that. Get look the meat. Justin. Yeah, look out, Justin. Don't don't get chopped pieces, man. Don't get chopped pieces, bro. Are you alright? Are you hurt? I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry. You looked really uncool. Yeah, he you looked really uncool, Justin. Really uncool, bro. Oh, let's carry on stealing everything, shall we? Right, uh this should be a dead end, I think. Yeah, that one's the dead end. So I always have to double check some of these doors. So we're going to go through the middle one. All because we want the uh, the gold that we passed up before. Alright, now we can go back. And all we need to do now is take the final door. Oh, I fell down the hole. Okay, that was completely in uh, intentional. Completely intentional. Don't, don't sweat it. Oh yeah, you can also interact with this if you want to. Doesn't do anything. Like, it just zooms in a little, but well, if you wanted to, now you can. Alright. Let's go get uh, all the items, shall we? So, we don't really need to bother with anything here, really. Like, if you wanted to, you could actually, like... Oh, gotta make sure I don't fall here, but the camera's moving really fast. Uh, you can, like, walk along here and that. But you can't actually do anything here because of the, uh, the hole in the container. So, you can't go that way. Instead, if you want to get to the other side of that, we have to go through the door at the end here. And then actually go through a different door as well. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's down the rope and then up the middle. I got the areas mixed up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just going crazy. I'm absolutely just going crazy. It's fine. Either way, we can still steal all the gold though. 
It's like, just deal everything that's not nailed down. It's fun. Like, it's a pirate ship, right? Like, they're, they're all dead. What do they need treasure for? It's mine. It's mine. Alright, let's just attack. And there's no point using fire magic here, Athena. No point at all. Actually, they did survive somehow. Like, he survived two hits from Justin and two from Sue. I really don't get how he survived that, to be honest. Oh well, it's fine. Alright, it's a treasure. Wind charm. That's basically just like a normal, uh, a normal accessory, pretty much. We don't really care that much. Same with the, um, uh, the wound self. We don't really care much about that either. So, yeah. We just get it for the fun of it. However, in the uh, next screen, we will actually get a new weapon. Although, we're still not actually going to use it. Right, you know what? This time, um, mm, no, I will attack with just naturally because he's nearly leveled up. It's like his weapon should level up in this fight. Oh, I thought they were close enough for Boone to hit both, but I guess not. Well, in that case, I might as well just murder this one as well. I love enemies with high defense. It means I can get more hits on them. Oh, flame burn them. Right, how close is fire magic now to being done? It's probably like miles away so it's probably, it's probably only like 50 or 60 EXP. Alright, what do you want? 45, not even the 50 or the 60. Oof. Even Justin's weapon didn't level up there. Yeah, they just didn't have it compared to the ghosts, man. They just were not as good as the ghosts. Right. I want to try and remember if I drop down the hole or if I climb the stairs. Uh, you know what? I'm going to drop down the hole just because I can't remember. And we're back to the start. That was a bad idea. Well, it does let me recover at least, so I can use uh, fire magic on more enemies. Oh wait, yeah, I need to save and reload to actually respawn them, don't I? Well, it's fine. We can just run through anyway. And I'm d yeah, I'm not gonna bother doing the um, burn flame leveling. Like, I really don't think it actually matters for the boss coming up. Obviously, it would make it easier, but yeah, we should be we should be more than fine to be fair. Right up the stairs we go for the last treasure, and of course more enemies, which we definitely want. Come on, you stop jumping! There we go. Like if I can actually get some EXP here, then it means we can learn a uh, burn flame in the boss fight. So we could still actually use it there. If not, then yeah, it's fine. Like I would still only have Fina using fire magic in that fight anyway, simply due to the fact it hits all three parts of the boss. And that's all I really care about. Okay, so that's a nice hit on all three. I'm gonna carry on defending though. We have a save point coming up so I can actually recover all of Sue's uh, Sue. All of Fina's MP. And that's what matters here. Looks like I might as well just use it. Use it or lose it. Alright, well, at least two of them are going to die. I don't think the third one's going to get hit, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, might as well get just things mace level as well. Alright, how much XP did I get for that? 25. Okay, so that was 3 plus 2, so that's 5. So that was 5 EXP a hit. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Right. Okay. We've got the gold. Uh, I need to get past without falling down the hole. Which is kind of awkward on the remaster, because the camera like the camera seems to move a lot faster on the remaster. As opposed to... Uh, come here, ghost. Come here. No, stop. Come here. Where's he gone? Ghost, come here. There we go. God damn it, it's about time, man. 
That's right, we still have one more area anyway. And there are enemies that spawn in there. So if I really, really wanted to, I could just like go there, kill the enemies, save at the save point, reload, and then carry on farming. Oh, I only hit one of them. Mm. Well, sucks, but what can you do? It's fine, we'll just kill him with Justin. What a thing. I need to check his level, actually. I don't know what his mace level is right now. I've not looked in a while. I know it's not going to be that high, though. Like, it's not going to be that impressive. Level 6. Okay, that's actually higher than I thought. So I still need, like, four more levels. But again, like, we'll get them really, really easily. We'll get the pirate hat, even though I'm not actually going to equip that. Like, it probably would be beneficial for me to equip it, to be fair. But I'm lazy. That Admiral Sword will be stronger as well, by the way, if you were, if you want to equip it. But, again, like, I don't really want to level my sword at the moment, so I'm going to keep the mace on. But if you are struggling against the um, <clears throat> boss we're about to fight, then go ahead, throw it on. Like, it, it's not going to hurt you at the end of the day. Um, same with same with the pirate hat. It's more defense, so you'd be able to survive easier. And survivability and the boss coming up could be a little problematic. Um, like for those who have played this game before, this boss is one of those that, you know, realistically, I would say has probably killed, you know, like maybe 50% of people. You know, like, it, it probably has wiped, like, 50% of people the first time they saw this boss. Because it does have a a few hits that are just very, very problematic, to be fair. Which is not the best. But either way, either way, it has absolutely nothing on the next boss. Well, I mean, the boss after the one that we're about to fight. You guys know what I mean, right? The one that we're gonna fight in like episode eight or episode nine. That's that's the boss that I'm on about. And this right here is why this room is a good one to grind in. Because you can get eight ghosts. Mm, you know what? I'm just gonna defend because I'm gonna use burn. Because then I can actually get burn flame in this fight. Where are you burn? Alright, uh, who's the closest? He should hit them all. Should do. That's why I've missed all of them now, isn't it? No, I still got two. Okay, that's fine. It's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Right, let's carry on defending. We're just in and Sue. Okay, I've got three of them right next to each other. Can I get four? Oh, are all four right next to each other? Can I actually get them? Oh, I can as well. Sweet! Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting burned flame here. And then I can show you guys that, too. Yep, there we go. Fina's Lane, Burn Flame, because I fire magic leveled up. So, we're going to defend again, because once again, I want to show you guys this new magic that we just unlocked. This is mainly just to show you guys, like, how big of a difference the AoE range is. Unfortunately, we can only use this once, though, because we only have five level, at, uh, level two MP. And this spell costs four. Oh man, trust it be just out of range. Trust it be just out of bloody range. And he's only got one health left as well. Just my luck. Alright, we won! But yeah, we can't use that spell now unless I recover at a save point. It's fine though. Oh, Justine's down to one EXP. Wait, no, he only hit one Cinti, so he's still getting four. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's pick up the last item, and there we go, the Resurrection Potion. That is everything that can be obtained in the pirate ship. So, we're going to go save, and then we're going to go fight the boss. And this is actually a fun boss, I like this boss. It really has some different mechanics when you look at RPGs as a whole. 
because it's like, oh, there are, there are some really, really fun mechanics in this game for sure, which you just don't really see in any other RPGs. But though, everybody, if you want to see these particular mechanics, I'm afraid to say you're going to have to wait until the next one, because I'm going to be ending this video right here. Still though, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button. And of course, leave a comment down below. And for anybody new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.